Hey guys, so I am here again doing a nail tutorial and it is super hot weather and that probably doesn't explain why I'm wearing a flanny and have my hair out and my fans not on. I make no sense. But my best friend came and she slept over New Year's Eve and then on New Year's Day I decided to paint her nails and I apologise for my voice, I think I've got the flu because this morning I spent five minutes feeling like I was going to sneeze walking around like don't screenshot that please. It was probably the worst feeling ever so oh. but my throat's still all blocked and my nose is blocking so it's like I have to breathe through my mouth all the time. But as I said Jazzy stayed over my house on New Year's Eve and in the morning I painted her nails Batman because she loves Batman. Like loves Batman. She's obsessed with Batman. But because I had already done her nails with a Batman theme before I decided to do a mix and match ones just to make it a little bit different and mix it up. Oh my god, that was the worst pun. It wasn't even really a pun and I'm so disappointed in myself. Also because I'm really good at math, I did nine nails in total on my nail wheel when I filmed how to do it. So because we have ten fingers, which means ten fingernails, and if anyone says that we have four fingers and two thumbs, wait, four fingers, <laughs> eight fingers and two thumbs, I am going to cry and probably come to your house and punch you. I'm kidding. Kidding. You'll probably have to double up one of the nails and I would suggest either the stripey one or the skyscraper one because, I don't know, they're just like kind of little, um, can't think of the word, um, I don't know, decorative nails. It's gonna look good either way because it's Batman and everyone loves Batman. If Jazzy has taught me one thing in my life, it's that everyone who has seen the Batman movies loves them. Hence, I don't love Batman because, oh, I haven't seen other movies. And she's probably going to watch this and make me watch them now. So one more thing I wanted to say before I get started is I use these new strappers in it and they are super, super runny. They're really good strappers apart from that fact. And I use these on some of my nails instead of using like the toothpick and dipping it in stuff because all my other nail polishes were going really stringy because that's how hot it is. And that furthermore explains why I'm a retard for wearing a flunny today. So just keep that in mind that all my nail polish was really thick and stringy and uh, or just really thin like these ones. If I'm using a strap, it'll be really thin. I'm going to get to the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye. Alright, so the first of the nails is just some skyscrapers with small lights for windows because it's obviously night because, well, it's Batman. And all you have to do for them is paint two coats of a dark bluish metallic polish and then use a black polish to create about two to four lines, depending on how thick your nail is, of different lengths to represent the buildings. And then just take a light yellow polish and create two rows of smallish dots on each and every building. And I guess the size of the dots kind of depends on how thick the buildings are. And you can see just there how the nail polish went stringy and it was ugh, so annoying. So for the next nail, just start off with two coats of the same yellow polish and then just simply create large silver dots sparingly all over the nail and then fill in the gaps with some large black dots. Just make sure you don't overcrowd the nail with dots because it kind of takes away the simple laid back effect of the nail design. And then for the third nail, just again paint it with two coats of this time a white polish and then take a black striper and create two thin straight lines from half to three quarters of the way up the nail. And to be honest, you could just start out by making the outline with the polish and a toothpick, but oh well. So then just take a toothpick or such and make a curved line for the top of his head and just fill in the center. After that, all you have to do is make his shoulders, which you can fill in with a normal polish brush. And I also made his head thicker because it looked kind of ridiculous. And if you made any mistakes or want to change the shape of anything, you can just go back in with a white polish, which I do in a second. And it should cover it up nicely. I know it looks dodgy at the time when you do it, but after a top coat, it will all look beautiful and fabulous. And to be honest, this was my least favourite design out of all of them. I don't know. I just... I really didn't like it. I think just every time I just kind of kept failing doing it and everything. But anyway, this next nail is a little bit more, um, I don't know the word, intricate or something. I don't know, that probably makes no sense anyway. So start with the metallic polish again and take a shimmery silver polish and a toothpick and create the outline of a Batman symbol. I think this is the one for the Dark Knight Rises, but I'm not 100% sure. The easiest way to do it is to have the symbol next to your nail and just copy it. I'll try to explain it. So you start off with two little lines for the ears and they should be parallel 
and I don't really know where I put them, just kind of look in the video and kind of go by that. And then join these with a straight line, then take the original two lines down a little further and create straight lines going away from each other at 90 degrees. And I think that sounds pretty legitimate. After that, you just want to make another two lines parallel to the ears again and finishing at the top of where the ears finish as well. And then just make them go directly out for the top of the wings. And you can make them as long or short as you like, but I like to make them the length of the nail. And then I just mark the little tail bit where I want that down the bottom of my nail and create two large curved lines for the wings, as you can see here. And I just filled in the centre with the silver polish and went back in with the blue metallic one for any mistakes and fix them up. And the next nail is just a simple silver French tip on a black nail. I just thought it really complemented the batman -y theme and also the silver highlighted the previous nail's bat. And make sure you paint the side of the nails with that too so you don't see the black underneath it. So for the next nail, paint it with two coats of a yellow polish and let it dry completely. Like 100% dry so you are physically unable to smudge it. It's super duper important. Then you just have to take some striping tape and cut pieces about a centimetre or so longer than your nail and just make parallel sort of about equally spaced lines on your nail and then I use the striper polish because all the other ones were going stringy and it didn't work with these so just paint over the whole nail make sure you get the sides and everywhere where you can still see yellow and just paint it and then leave it dry for a short amount of time and then just peel all the striping tape off kind of moderately slow and after a top coat that one looks all strappy and fancy. So the next nail is another French tip. So I just did the metallic polish and there's a black French tip. And I just did a silver accent, but you can use any color. I think a yellow would actually look nice, but this hand didn't have very much silver. So I decided to do silver. So it had a little bit more of a blingy kind of thing to it. And then the next nail is just another Batman logo. The most common one in my obviously non-expert opinion. So just start by painting your nail with two coats of the yellow polish and get out your black polish and your toothpick again and start by making the ears another parallel, two parallel lines and make the head shape, it should be a slightly curved line and then mark where you want the points of the wings, I definitely did that evenly and the tip of the wings should be in line with the tip of the ears and then you want to create quite deep curves for the wings and then I've just marked where I want the point of the tail and all the other little points down the bottom. And I don't really know how to explain that, so whatever. But then you just have to join all these bottom lines with inward curves like so. And I'm beginning to realise I'm really, really terribly bad at explaining this. So I really hope you can follow along with the video. And after you've made these inward curves, make two outward curves joining the very outside dot and the top of the wing. And then just colour everything in. And it's basically done after a top coat, but if you want to reshape or anything or whatnot, just go back in with the yellow polish and just kind of drag it in. And I decided to thicken up the wings and kind of even it up. I know this one looks dodgy, but I kind of rushed it and I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to be do it really well, but whatever. So the last nail is exactly the same as the other dotty one, except I did it black and did large silver and yellow dots on it. And after everything is completely dry, you can just apply a top coat and you're done. Woo, 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 woo. That is how you paint the mix and match Batman nails because there's no reason not to. I don't know why I said because then. I didn't mean to say because. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to leave it a big thumbs up and even just like for Batman. Because as I said before, if you've seen Batman, you're going to like Batman. So just like it for Batman because you can. Why not? And subscribe for other stuff. And please leave any feedback or requests in the comments or like on my social media, which are links to in the description box. And once again, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.